And here we go, yet another day, yet another Game Boy backlight kit. Pull that out of there. So, this is yet another thing I've ordered. I don't know what these are, but I'm guessing these are some uh, double-sided adhesive strips for sticking the screen into the Game Boy. Here is the backlight kit itself. It is a brand new screen. Well, I don't know if this is newly manufactured, but at the very least, this is a new screen for Game Boy kits. Uh, it does come pre-attached to the um, ribbon here. And when I first saw this kit, I honestly thought this was a funny playing design just based off of the construction of the ribbon itself. It it looks basically identical to how Funny Playing builds their kits, but I spoke with them and this is not theirs. I don't know whose it is. Um, I ordered this particular kit off of Taobao and just before it arrived, uh, it showed up on AliExpress too. Um, I'll, I'll shoot a link in the description as long as it's not total hot garbage. But um, this is what you get. Custom screen, custom ribbon, some adhesive strips, and a lens. Notice this lens doesn't have a logo on it or any adhesive for that matter. So I'm guessing, I guess the adhesive is for the lens itself. Um, but I don't know. It's pretty interesting. I noticed the seller also had Game Boy Advance SP version of this kit, which was literally the same kit but with a um with a sp ribbon attached to one of these things that's not the right ribbon uh, one of these things literally just that attached to the 32 pin side and then a uh, sp lens placed over the screen there um I don't know how well this thing works. I haven't tried it. I haven't seen any other media on it. I haven't seen other people do builds with these things. So I guess let's let's find out. Still nothing on the screen. I guess let's do a quick post-mortem. Um, looking at this thing, I do see a logo on the LCD. I'm going to disconnect this. Make this easier on myself. I do see a logo on this LCD. Boyhood. It's kind of weird, but sure. Um, but anyway, I noticed there's some double-sided tape, so I'm guessing this is intended to be stuck down like that and mine wasn't. I don't know if that's something they expect you to do uh, you know, when you're installing the kit just so that this thing's not flapping around or if it's something that should be done in shipping so that exactly what happened to me doesn't happen to you guys. Uh, but if we look at this, I, I folded this straight out and I saw a big crease. I'm gonna bring this in a little bit. And I saw that crease right there, right? And so that got me suspicious, and I started looking, and sure enough, you can see that little tear starting exactly where that crease is. So I'm guessing this goes all the way through. This is fixable by someone who has an extreme amount of micro soldering experience, but because this cable is joined to the screen, because this is bonded, this isn't something that can just be replaced. This means the screen is pretty much dead and there's nothing that I can do about it. And the only people who can repair this at this point, you know, it's, it's not cost effective to do so. I could just buy another kit for less than it would cost to have someone fix this screen. So that might be what I do next, but anyway. I hope this video was interesting, if nothing else, because it shows the importance of um, shipping kits properly, but also because it shows the importance of testing your kit before you install it.
And like I said, I use a power supply, but there's no reason you can't just take your Game Boy Advance, plug your screen in, drop it back in the back half of the shell. Your game will hold everything in place and then you jam some batteries in there. And, oh, helps you hold the motherboard in so the batteries don't push it out. And then, ta-da. But, this kit's dead and so is this video. So, again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.